Okay, we just got we just finished steel curtain in the back row. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. This thing is amazing. Wow. Wow we oh, man. Hola amigos and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're gonna be reviewing Steel Curtain, the new for 2019 SNS Mega Coaster that went to Kennywood in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I got to ride this roller coaster last week on August 9th, and man, this is an amazing ride. So let's just jump right into it. So this coaster is a little bit special to me because when I went to Iapa last year, this was one of the co many coaster trains that were revealed at the event. And being my first media event that I was invited to, this was a huge deal for me because, as you can see on the screen here, I saw the front car, and then here I am sitting in the same front car that I saw at Iapa. So it was a really surreal experience for me. So this coaster has a soft spot in my heart, not only because it's a great ride, but also because of that amazing connection between Iapa and the ride. So let's just jump right into the ride itself. So starting out with the lift hill, this is actually one of my favorite lift hills for a few reasons. So basically, it starts off slow, but then it gradually builds up speed, which really amps up the suspense and the excitement for the ride. And they're blaring Renegade by Stinks. I think that's what the name of the band is, all the way up. So it just makes all the hype even more than it already is. The lift hill is not boring at all, which is awesome. And you get these incredible views of the park in Pittsburgh. And it's just one of my favorite lift hills. I know it's weird to say, but it's awesome. And so when you get to the top, you hang over the edge a little bit, which is a great feature, and then you enter the first inversion. And this is the tallest inversion in the world at 197 feet. That's so high. And this thing has some great hang time, especially in the front. It's a tad whippy, but in a good way. It's pretty fast and snappy, and it's one of it's a great way to start the ride. And so immediately after that first inversion, you enter the drop. And this is a fantastic drop. The transition from the inversion into the drop is pretty whippy. It's fairly intense. And you just build up so much speed on that drop. And you just zoom through it. It's amazing. And it's not the most intense drop, but it's, it, it's still pretty intense. And it still packs a punch. So right after the drop, you're going to do a slight left bank turn, which is just so fast. You're just flying through that thing. And that's going to enter the banana roll. And man, entering the banana roll, you get some fantastic positive Gs, like you're slammed into your seat. And the banana roll itself actually gives some pretty good hanging laterals, if you know what I mean. I mean, like, you're kind of hanging off to the side a little bit. There's some fantastic laterals. After that, you're going to enter the first airtime hill of the ride. And I mean, you get launched on this thing. You just slam into those restraints. It is a fantastic feeling. It's pretty sustained, too. You're going so fast, but it actually is pretty sustained. It's amazing. Which And that airtime hill leads directly into the sea serpent roll, which might be one of my favorite points of the ride. You get some phenomenal hang time it's nice and smooth it just kind of glides right through these two inversions it just glides through into the second airtime hill which is the best airtime hill on this coaster and it is long sustained ejector airtime which is absolutely awesome i love a good airtime moment i love airtime so this was absolutely perfect and the airtime hill goes right into the dive loop which cuts out pretty early so you're hanging for a while it's not like it's like a fake inversion like you're actually hanging there for a sec and now at the turnout you actually get some pretty good positive g's which i was very happy about right after that you go into a little bit of a straight section and then you go into this zero g stall which you just when you go into that thing you just whip right into it like, it just is, like, so sudden. If you're not prepared for it, you can maybe be a little bit thrown off. But, man, that thing just freaking sends it. The laterals are just absolutely phenomenal, not to mention the really good hang time that you get off of it. Right after that, you're going to go into the third airtime hill, which isn't as good as the other two, but it's still it's still good. It's, it's still airtime. Like, it's good. Which is then followed by the eighth inversion, which is a corkscrew, which is nice and smooth. It's pretty generic. It's not extremely whippy, but it just glides right through. And then the biggest surprise of the ride is that the turn and the cutback, you actually get some really, really intense positive G-forces and some awesome laterals. Like this thing just goes right through it. It's really intense and it's just a great way to end off the ride. And the first time I rode it, I had to take it all in because it was so much and it was such a great ride. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? My first ride was in the back, which was pretty awesome because you got whipped over on the first drop, but then I had to ride it again a few more times. And after riding it more and more, I've discovered that the front row is absolutely the best. You get so much hang time, you really feel that speed, and you the forces are 
just the best in the front row. Talking about some qualities of the ride, it doesn't really feel like you go upside down nine times. Like it just glides through the entire ride. Speaking of gliding, the ride is actually pretty smooth. Like I said, I love this word. It just glides right through. It's it's just ah, it's just I don't know how to describe it, but man, it just sends it. Like it just glides. I will say though, there is a slight vibration in the back row, but it's nothing that would that's like going to give you a headache. It's just kind of there. It's it's not really uncomfortable. It's just it just exists. Getting back to what I said earlier, this ride just looms over the park. You can see it from everywhere. You can see it from miles away. You can see it in the condensed tree areas of the park. It just towers over this thing. And this ride looks great. I actually really love the color scheme on this thing. The black and the yellow pop wonderfully. When I was leaving the park, I looked back and this thing just immediately caught my eye because it's just so vibrant and so colorful and just so aesthetically pleasing and i just love the color scheme so much speaking of aesthetically pleasing things at the top of the lift you get some absolutely incredible views if you look straight into the left you get a great view of the park and all the other attractions that it features but if you look to the right you can see downtown pittsburgh you can see the suburbs of pittsburgh it's nice and hilly so you see all these trees it is a fantastic view Getting into the operations of the ride itself, they actually had some pretty good operations. This thing runs two trains, and usually they're sending the other train out when the other one hits the brake run. So they're sending these things out pretty quick. And speaking of the trains, they have lap bars, which is so awesome. You really feel the hang time and the air time in these things. If this thing had ordered the shoulder restraints, it wouldn't nearly be as good as this. I love that it has the lap bars. They're very comfy. The shin guards aren't going to bang up your thighs. They're nice and roomy. They're free. They are some fantastic restraints. The pacing on this thing is stellar. I keep using this word. This ride just glides right through all its inversions. There's never a dull moment. There's always something going on. It maintains that speed, and it just keeps going. It keeps going. You only stop when you enter the last brake run. It is just. It just keeps going. It is awesome. Speaking of Steelers Country and the rides surrounding the area... It wasn't quite finished when I visited. I'm not sure when it's going to finish, but just looking at what they've completed so far through the fences and on top of the ride, it actually looks pretty good. I'm really excited to see what the finished product is because what they have so far actually looks really good. So now that I've covered everything, let's get into the final score. And I think Steel Curtain gets a 9.7 out of 10. This ride is absolutely incredible. Right now, I rank it as my number 13 roller coaster and i've ridden over 200 roller coasters so that's pretty that's pretty high up there i think it is one of the best roller coasters of all time and i think it's a little bit underrated i love a nice ride with a combination of airtime and inversions and this ride is absolutely perfect like i mean this ride slaps like this thing is so good it's an absolute fantastic addition to kennywood and i think it's the best coaster in the park so what are your thoughts on this ride? Do you think it's the best coaster at Kennywood? Do you think it's the best coaster of 2019? I'd like to know your thoughts below in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a thrilling day.